Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you guys what I have in my everyday makeup caddy. So what that means is just the things that I find myself reaching for more than I would everything else in my makeup um, collection. The reason why I have this little caddy on my desk is because it just helps me get ready faster if I'm in a hurry. Everything in the caddy I know works and I'm loving at the moment. This goes for brushes, everything that I need just for like a basic everyday face. So here we go. So here is my little organizer and I got this from Target for under $20 I think and it just has a bunch of little compartments on compartments of different sizes for brushes and little compacts and, and there's a this whole section right here is an open compartment on this side. For some reason this keeps me more organized. Okay so the first thing I'm picking up is this rose tinted lip and cheek stain by Benefit. It's actually kind of scary in the bottle because it's like this watery dark buddy looking <laughs> formula but when you put it on it just gives you like that that natural looking cheek and I really like that and it, you can use this on your lips but I just use it for my cheeks. My favorite primer is the Mineral Veil by Hourglass. I don't know how what else to say about it. It just gives you a flawless look. This is my LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. The color is pure beige. It's like three dollars and only place I can find this where I live is like in a beauty supply store. So I get like two and three at a time. And these last for a long time. I love this. The other one that I have is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It's pretty much just like the LA Girl one. But it's like the LA Girl one is like three bucks. And this one is like, what, 17 or something like that. The next thing I have is this NARS Velvet Shadow Stick in the color Dark Velvet. And this, you have to literally scrub off your face. It is a dark, dark, like, purple shadow. I actually put this in my caddy because I have not used it. And, um, and I probably won't use it if I keep it in my makeup organizer. So I put this in my everyday caddy because um, I want to try it out. And I really haven't used it yet, so... The next thing is my one of my favorite lippies and it's the Kat Von D Lolita. This has been my go-to lip product for over a year. I'm dying to try some of those Anastasia lippies, so, um, but for now this is my favorite. The next thing I have is a NARS concealer in Amande. Um, okay, so the Maybelline Falsies mascara, you know how you get those two packs and they tell you it's a deal but it's really not. I got this and just to try it out because I wanted to try something new even though my favorite one is the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Carbon Black but um, I'm trying to use this up. This is I don't like this as much as this. So yeah, this is the next thing. The Carbon Black in my caddy. All time favorite mascara, seriously. Next thing I have is this NARS Blush and Seduction. Like that. Love this blush. This MAC lipstick in Craving, and it's really a nice everyday lipstick. I just always keep it on my caddy just in case I want to switch it up, and if I'm not using my um, Kat Von D, I'll just use this if I want a lip. And the next thing is this, oh, um, what do they call this? Oh, okay, so Revlon came out with these lip butters like a couple years ago, and these are the bomb. This is in the color Lip, wait. This is in the color Pink Truffle, and it's literally like so moisturizing. They're perfect for every day, so I really like that color in Pink Truffle. Okay, and I have a, I don't know where I got this, but it's a um, felt tip eyeliner marker, and um, I've been trying to use this up because I'm tired of it. Um, all right, here we go. Brushes. Okay, I have some face brushes that I use every day, and I got this one. Um, I have a Misha 101 brush and I use this for foundation. I got this for Christmas. This style of, the, of brushes, um, I want to get more of these. All of my makeup brushes are dirty right now, so, because I just used most of these. Elf fan brush I use for highlighters. A buffing brush by Real Techniques. Eco Tools brush that I use for my blush sometimes. This is a Real Techniques setting brush and I use this to set my um, concealer under my eyes when I do wear concealer under my eyes. Pointed foundation brush by Real Techniques. Um, then I have a contour brush by Real Techniques. I really like Real Techniques brushes. Even though I have 
I probably have more matte brushes than I have real techniques, but I'm I find myself using real techniques brushes more because I don't know, I, I feel like they work better. I have a few smaller brushes that I use every day. This is a what is this? Where'd I get this? This is a Anastasia angled brush with a spoolie at the end. Number 12, I think. Um, I like this. I use this every day for my brows. If I'm not using the brow whiz. This is a Real Techniques angled brush that I use to um, apply my concealer under my eyebrows. And I have an e.l.f. contour brush which I use for shadow. A detailer brush from Real Techniques. And I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, which is the best thing ever. Um, I actually need to get another one. I have a MAC 194E brush. It looks like that. That's all of my brushes. And we just have this big section right here at the end. And I'm just going to tell you what I have there. Um, I have my Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray, which I don't use every day. But um, it... It's the best. I hate this packaging because it gets dirty and you can't clean it off. My Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream Foundation, which I really love. Really good for people who have oily skin and I have combination skin. Um, I like this foundation. It's like super full coverage. One of my favorite drugstore foundations of all time. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I'm about to get another one. Lord have mercy. Okay. This is my Naked Skin Beauty Balm with the SPF of 20. I use this as a primer. It has a slight tint to it and it um, gives my skin a little bit of a glow when I put this on. I really like this. I got this from Ulta. This is my, um, this is my Lock It Tattoo Powder Foundation in the color Medium 62. Now I'm hitting pan so I'm not sure if I'm going to get it again even though I really like it. Um, I do have some other foundation powder foundations that I want to try so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this again but this was the bomb okay so this is my benefit Cabral um, cream gel brow in number four this is the best this is what I use a lot before I got this and the um, brow whiz I was using a powder and I thought I liked the powder the best until I found this when I started using this I loved it when I got that brow whiz it was like over. The last thing I have is this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Topaz. Woo! This glow, y'all, is nice. Um, I want to get another Becca highlighter. Here is my little organizer I got from Target. And I just wanted to show you what the compartments look like. It is extremely dirty at the bottom. This is the first time I'm actually taking everything out. So I guess I should clean. Um, it's easy just for your everyday makeup. Maybe not like your full face glam makeup because, you know, it, everything won't fit in here. Everything I showed you fits in here fine. Something that I use every single day. And it actually helps me use my makeup more. As I go through my clear cube, you know, I'll see things that I'm like, oh, I need to use that. So I'll take it out and I'll put it in my caddy. That way I'll remember to use it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you later. Bye.